Do you know, the little flower next to you really likes you. I heard it talking about it. Plants talk in a silent and sincere language. I can translate their talk for you, if you want. You saw me in the dim forest late at night. <laughs> My bad. I was probably too caught up waiting for a noctamint to blossom to notice you. Those plants wait their whole lives for that one bloom. I think they'd be happy to have someone there witnessing and recording it all. Oh, of course we can talk about something other than plants. I do take breaks from the greenhouse, you know. Um... Uh, do you like Murray Pot? The various types of mushrooms in it are so... What? M mushrooms are not plants. They're fungi. When you have the time, how about we take a walk together? <laughs> the world is going to look very different when you don't have a particular destination in mind. Want to give it a try? Sometimes, it feels like the two of us are dandelion seeds, drifting wherever the wind takes us. We have our ups and downs, just like weathering a storm. But one day, we may finally land and flourish after a good rain. Rover, as fellow travelers, let's embrace what lies ahead, wherever and whenever we may be. To me, that's what truly makes life worth living. During my free time, I enjoy strolling around Jinjo on my own. Every brick and tile looks slightly different from one another, and I can find resilient little flowers growing in the cracks. The streets are always bustling with people, and the smell of steaming food brings a cozy atmosphere. Whenever I wander around and take in all these sights and sensations, I feel... Um... Is invigorated the right word for it? I've noticed a trend of people sharing terminal-generated images online, saying those must be new plant species. While I understand their interest and curiosity, I'm worried this could mislead the public. As a botanist myself, I always try to be accurate and honest when I'm sharing information about plants. I've been wanting to find a way to help people tell the difference between fake images and real photos, but it seems there's still a lot of work to do. What should I do? My mom always said milk would help me grow taller, like how plants need fertilizer. And every time I drink it, I feel warm and cozy. Maybe that's what happiness feels like. I'm not a big fan of big, greasy dishes like steaks. It's not that they aren't tasty. I just hate the idea of letting food go to waste if I can't finish it. It doesn't sit right with me. Maintaining a balanced ecosystem is no easy feat, especially when it involves regulating the population of various species. But what if we could grow flowers that have a calming effect on the tacit discords? This could greatly reduce the strain on our frontline soldiers and potentially save lives. When I was little, I thought showcasing the beauty of flowers would make people appreciate and protect them. Reality hit me hard when I saw people plucking and flaunting expensive flowers instead. It used to upset me, but then I'd remind myself, Verena, remember the value of every plant's life. Remember what mom and dad had wanted you to do. My adventure journal isn't just about plants. Check it out. This story is about an old lady patiently waiting for a flower to bloom. And this one is about an adventurer going all out to snap a photo of a rare type of grass. Each leaf represents a unique story that has bloomed into something beautiful. I wrote them down to remember every one of these stories. Miss Yang Yang was curious about my plant growing skills, and she asked me many questions earlier. Then she patiently listened to me explaining details for a long, long time. Hanging out with her feels like basking in a gentle breeze. Miss Chuja once fed me a spoonful of her Victor Savor. I, I couldn't believe how spicy it was. What kind of pepper was that? Oh, my mouth still burns just thinking about it. Did you know, Baija is actually an old name for Angelica, a plant that can bloom beautiful flowers in freezing temperatures. It kind of makes me think of Miss Baija herself. Some might say she seems a bit chilly, 
but I have a feeling she's got a warm and gentle heart underneath. Mr. Mortify's dedication to his work is remarkable, but I do worry about his well-being. I mean, we all know how important the research project is, but a good night's sleep is just as crucial. Whenever I go and check on the nocturnal plants at night, I can see the light sign in his lab from a distance. Little Ankur is full of intriguing ideas, and she always has a lot of curious questions to ask. Hmm, I've got to keep looking for all the answers she wants. Oh, you're wondering why I call her Little. <laughs> We're just playing Big Sister and Little Baby. I remember meeting Mr. Kakuro when I was out collecting data in the wild. At first he didn't seem very approachable, but then he gave me some flower seeds. All super rare species. <laughs> He's so awesome. <laughs> Here, this star flower is for you, and it represents hope and miracles. <laughs> Happy birthday! Sorry, I'm not really used to celebrating other people's birthdays yet. Um... Yeah, I just want you to always be happy, Rover. Wow, such a rare species. <clears throat> it's my lucky day. I wonder how they're growing. Hmm, shh. Can you hear it? That's the sound of sprouting. I'm Verena. If you come across any plants that pique your interest, do let me know. Huh? You want me to go on field researches with you? Of, of course! It's my honor! But it can get quite dangerous out in the wild. Please be careful and stay close to me. Another field trip! I'm ready! Hopefully, we'll make new findings. Shall we go sightseeing together? Sprouting marks the inception of a plant's journey. A tiny miracle in motion. As I grow, even my breaths feel lighter. Now is the time to bloom. Oh, I didn't realize I was holding my breath. Look, it's so beautiful. Look, it's bearing tiny fruits. Another miracle. But the journey of a plant doesn't end here. As of late, my thoughts have turned to the wondrous ways in which life flourishes. The fish dance in the sea, the trees root deep in the earth, and the birds take flight in the sky, all thriving and growing in unique ways. <laughs> you seem to always inspire me to new wonders, too. Would you like to hear about them? Listen up. Grow for me. Photosynthesis. Life is in everything. Luminous energy. Bask in the sunlight. Mommy! Watch out! Oh. I can use some fertilizer. I'm just low on fluids. Now I'm super dehydrated. Time to hibernate. Withering is natural to life. My dreams, I haven't. The fruit of evolution. Imitation. Bloom. Leave it to me. <laughs> I'm a dandelion. Whoa. Wow, what is that? Growing against wind. Speeding up. A pleasant discovery. Are those little flowers growing inside? It's nature's gift. Let's keep it well. 